Hey everybody, thank you for tuning into our YouTube channel. Today's video is about customizing weft extensions by coloring them, applying them, and cutting them. I'm gonna take you through my step-by-step -step process on how I personally like to do this service. Not everybody likes to do this service the way I do it. Everybody has different ways and there's no one right way and there's no one specific bat. Well, there's a lot of bad ways to do it actually. There is more than one way to do this whole service. There's more than one way to color them. There's more than one way to cut them and there's more than one way to apply them. This is just how I like to do it. So here is the hair that we're gonna dye today. It is 22 inch long machine tied wefts from Hothead's hair. And it's in color 60A, which is the lightest color you can get. Now I always find the longest, largest table that I can and cover it with saran wrap whenever I'm dyeing hair. Here are those beautiful wefts. Now they are super, super long. They go beyond the edge of the table, but that's okay. I'll flip up the ends into the color later. I always like to start with the root and I apply a ton of color to the root and mush it in. This is where I spend the most of my time actually is applying the color to the root because these machine tied wefts are super, super thick and it takes a lot of color to penetrate through each strand. And I find that oftentimes hair extension hair is really, really dry and very absorbent. So you need a lot more color than you think you do. Now that I'm done the top of one side, I do flip it over and you see how little it actually saturated through even though I used a whole bowl of color and that was a hundred grams of color, you guys. That was so much color. <laughs> I would always rather mix too much color and be able to saturate the hair way too well <laughs> and waste color rather than to have to mix a new bowl of color, especially because this is a custom creative formula for my client. So she's processed for 45 minutes and now it's time to rinse her out. So I am certified by Hotheads to do extensions of this type and I like to start with the top of the hair and make a horseshoe shaped section. And now I'm trying to find what kind of bead matches her hair best even though she has neon orange hair. <laughs> My beads are not neon orange. So I went with a blonde colored bead so it blends in better. So I'm starting with the top row of beading and I do all my beading before I do any of my sewing in technique. And here is what the beading looks like on the top row. It's super neat and super easy, very comfortable. Now, before I actually apply her extensions, I do like to thin out her hair because she has a blunt cut. So I do this after I've done all my beading so I don't have to cut so much of her hair. And now that it's much more blended and more shaggy, we're ready to apply our extensions. So here I am sewing in the middle row using a blanket stitch and I'm using a nylon thread which doesn't absorb water and it prevents the thread from molding, which is super gross and nobody wants mold in their scalp. After I'm done applying her extensions, I always like to blend them in. So I start with the front and blend in her natural front shag layers with the extensions by giving them lots of shaggy layers in the front. Once I'm done there, then I like to turn her around and make sure that the shape is all uniform in the back and we don't have any random hairs sticking out. But we do want to keep the length of her hair for the most part. Making sure that your extensions blend with the layers of your client's hair is the most important step of this whole process because otherwise your extensions are super obvious and nobody wants anyone to know they have extensions in. That's why they get them done. I always then re-blow dry my client's hair straight and smooth so I can make sure that the extensions blend beautifully. And as you can see here, there is a slight tonal difference, but I'd always prefer the lighter color to be in the ends so it looks more like an ombre than for the light color to be in the top. And I always include a curling in my services. So here's her hair all nice and curled and wavy. She looks like a mermaid witch princess and I freaking love it. Look at that hair. Who else wants that hair? I want that hair. Ugh. I love doing extensions because they just give me such a great result like this. Like it's so much fun to watch someone's hair go from shoulder length to all the way down to touching their butt. That's amazing. That's my favorite thing in the world. I really hope you all enjoyed my video and remember to like and subscribe and support small businesses. Thank you so much guys. Love you.